Hey folks, today we're going to use this router table to finish the edges of this box up, uh, trim them down flush, and uh, I've already cleaned up the inside of this thing, and uh, that should, shouldn't take very long to do that. We just have to go around the, the circle with the thing. Let me, okay, let me show you uh, how we collect all the tools. Uh, they're, they're kept down in this drawer down here. And uh, I've got to get the right size uh, holder for, or not holder, but uh, uh, whatever you call those things. This is the tools that I use to uh, disconnect this little plate right here, this insert. And uh, I need also the half inch collet and the bit is way back here. That's the flush uh, trim bit. And uh, we'll get that out of here ready to go. And uh, I've got my two dust collector units. I already hooked the dust collector up under here uh, in the bottom of the uh, dust collector. You can also collect dust up from the top, but this one goes all the way around to that uh, steel tubing right there into the dust collector. And so I haven't hooked up the dust collector, so let me go do that real quick. So, this is the dust collector from up there. And it hooks in like this. This goes into the table saw. And uh, I think we've got everything we need, including the box set up. Let me set this up here where it'll get a close-up view if we need one. Okay, so these tools, this little holder I've made for all these tools, this is how you get the uh, uh, the, the, the router to raise up and down quickly. And then uh, this little uh, tool right here, I made this one to, to fit because the plastic one they gave me broke. And so this just helps Put the long ones in here. This one just helps lift this thing out of here. Why it's so difficult to... Oh, well, there it is. That's because it was all the way up at the top. And this goes through this hole. I lift it up. And now I can get to the different collet. This is a quarter inch collet in here now. Let me put in the half inch collet which is what we need and I just want to make sure it was recording and uh, I've got that collet over there this can now go back no got to put the, the bit in so here's the bit the way this bit works is uh, the blades are down here below and there's a ball bearing up at the top and so as this box runs past that ball bearing these blades will cut flush the edges of this of this box like that. So uh, that's pretty cool way of doing that. And then I think I've just about got it where I need it. So I can fine tune the adjustment on this thing up and down. You have to actually have to have a little turn the brake off. I don't need this brake on right now. But uh, this wheel rolls up and down and it raises the bit up and down in very fine increments. So you use this big old uh, wrench to uh, pull it up and down quickly. And then uh, you fine tune the adjustment with this wheel, the height. So here we go, putting the, uh, this on here tightly. I'll put this back in here. You know what, I don't think I ever tightened that bit up. Glad I remembered that. Uh, so here we go. All I did was push it down and, and forgot, to, forgot to tighten it. So this is the knob that locks that bit. And uh, what reminded me was seeing this over here in that tool holder. Right, that ought to be good enough. We'll put that back in there. This goes back in here like this. We'll need it just a minute, but I want to 
keep that stuff straight. And now, when we push this back down, that ought to do it right there. And I've got this little marker in here that goes all at the bottom so it slips in. And then I take the uh, this little spanner wrench it's built like that and I think it's ready to go see this box will fit right up against there and there's one more thing I need which is not entirely necessary but it is helpful and helps uh, safety a little bit this little bearing right here screws down into the uh, top of this and what it allows me to do is push this thing against the bearing first and then slide it into that bit under control so that it works. And you see the bit's turning like this, counterclockwise, uh, and as I'm looking down on it. And I want to always go against the grain right here. So when I go past here, then I want to be able to go past, let's see. This is this is not going to strip the grain out right here. It won't strip it out here. Then I can go to the right. I think I'll do the two long sides and then I'll do the two short sides first. I think that's the way you do it. I'll have to check on that and on another video I'll, I'll tell you later what the best way is. It keeps stripping out any wood. You don't want this thing which is turning like this. Uh, to catch uh, this piece coming off like that because it might flip that off so by getting that off of there first uh, you're in good shape so I think if I always go this direction it will do fine so that's what I'll do is I'll go this direction every time all the way around and that that should take care of it Okay, I think we're ready to turn some dust collector on. And this will still throw some dust. I can put a fence up here. Matter of fact, let me do that. I've got a little jig up here that I built just for this purpose when I didn't want to put the full fence out there. This is just a fence that's got two magnetic clamps on it uh, and a hole right here for the dust collector to go through. And that dust collector, I can put that up close to the, uh, to the bit right there. And I pull this over the top of uh, over there. Don't need this attachment. And this goes through that little hole. And so now I've got two types of dust. I've got one dust collection that pulls down from the bottom and one that pulls from the side right here. And that should take care of it. Let me put this back up over here. Okay. Now I think we're ready to turn this thing on and uh, let me get my hearing protection. All right, here we go. <laughs> Both dust collections are going. That's good. Turn the router on. Not be plugged in. Okay, there was a switch on the router itself where I had lifted out of the table and set it down, and by setting it down, it turned the switch off, and uh, that's what the problem was. I had to take it out of the table saw there. All right, um, dust collection. Now we got
okay, that did the job. That was all it took. I went around twice, uh, and I, the, anything that's left, I'll take care of with sandpaper on there. Let me put the dust collection up. Take the MS off. All right, folks, the next step is to uh, put the top on, and we'll be doing that video here uh, here shortly in the next episode. But I believe this this will take care of this episode, putting the bottom on, and uh, I'll sand this off camera, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, folks, for watching. Be sure to subscribe and to like uh, if you like the video, and be sure to... Uh, Click that bell to be notified of any new uh, videos that come in. So thank you so much.